Hi, my name is Yuri Behtier. This is my television assignment for DMS2 early track. And I'll be analyzing the reaction video genre for this assignment. Uh, today, I will exercise my audiovisual argumentation skills in order to show how the medium of television is undergoing a transformation in the digital age and what it has become. I will focus on how the TV personality or talent interacts with the viewers and makes them feel included through the use of two stylistic elements. Improvisation in the form of relatable comments, stories, anecdotes to further invite a viewer to feel comfortable and the use of exaggerated amp or amplified human emotion, may it be crying, laughter, rage, in order to form a parasocial relationship with the viewer, something that I've talked uh, a lot about in my previous DMS uh, video essay. I will be also focusing on just due to the sheer amount of videos being 40 videos, I will also touch upon advertising, sponsor segments, uh, gaming fine relationship with audience, uh, groups in audience for product placement, and several other TV stylistic elements that were present in the TV era as well. So without further ado, here is an example of the Try not to laugh videos, viewers. Okay, KSI wheeze, okay. Me after hearing JJ's laugh. <laughs> My laugh makes people laugh, interesting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, there's this chair. Nothing funny about it at all. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Yeah, so in that video, we just saw the exaggerated, exaggerated human reaction that I was talking about. In this case, it was laughter. And you can see that the, the user is aware of this as he talks about how this ability of making other people laugh and it's contagious. And this connects very well to any talk show, any TV show with a live audience because you can see how the live audience does the same thing. It amplifies the human emotion, making the viewer at home, oh, this is when I'm supposed to laugh. Oh, this is when I'm supposed to clap. And yeah, it just helps to tighten this bond between the two parties and further develop. Uh, this happens not only in the US. Uh, I took a personal example. Uh, there's this Brazilian YouTuber, massive, over 30,000 views for every live stream. And he does the same thing, uh, just this more primitive way as Brazil, we have this, you know, internet access and streaming softwares are a bit behind, even though it's the same platform, the streamers, they reach the trends a bit slower, but here you can see the same thing, he's just reacting to food and yeah, thousands and thousands of viewers just w wish to sit down and have this personal interaction because this YouTuber is doing something that they also like doing. Just like in Jason Mattel's paper, which is cited in the making of document, there are different subgenres inside the genre of reaction videos. One of which I want to highlight now is the chess, chess reaction content. We can see a Nash, American national champion and world star super GM Hikaru Nakamura where he makes chess react videos where he reacts to chess content. But inside these videos we can find both the over-exaggerated reactions, uh, mainly laughter. <laughs> That is so good. <laughs> or in the addressing of the audience in the beginning as a hi guys, welcome back, or a in the end as a see you in the next video. But uh, differently from the other ones, we can find now instructive and professional intake and just professional knowledge, professional anecdotes, and this being an expert in the scene resembles old TV shows where they would, they would bring in an expert. Uh, to talk about something. I, I, I remember Sports Center did this a lot with basketball players. And yeah, but, but from this one, we can still see how he does the over exaggerated reactions being laughter. In conclusion, we can now safely say that the reaction genre in the new technological medium definitely takes a lot from the old television days. We can see how YouTubers are becoming more like TV show hosts and how they like to navigate their audience through some type of content while creating a more personal connection 
in order to keep strengthening the parasocial relationship which makes the viewer come back for the next video.